Even though they're just now doing the bins, and that's not something they can just keep getting over. It's hurting. Yeah. So we need to stick with it. We need to keep our intensity up, and we need to keep the profile up of what we're what we're doing, and say to the Newham community, who by and large back us, that we are we're out here. No! This is. This indeed is not a late action against the East London Borough of Newham. As so Labour here, Unite, Newham Unite Dark Side. join them in the struggle. I'm standing by the Newham Council, otherwise called the uh, Newham Dock Side. Is it called number 1000? Uh, this uh, Dock Side area, which is the headquarters of the Newham Council. Today, council workers are on strike. They're actually on strike and the Unite, the Junior members are working for this uh, Newham Council uh, on strike and then um, they will be marching towards the side because they've already been uh, marching on the road, uh, local roads uh, in the area of uh, London, East London, Beckton area um, and they are marching and causing uh, a little bit of traffic on the way and they'll be marching to this headquarters of the council where they want the council bosses to listen to them. And we will walk in the road, it will slow down greedy and lazy. Um, so that to me is getting involved. Um, but no, there's no meeting scheduled with the mayor. There was meant to be a meeting potentially with uh, one of our union, uh, someone higher up than me and me and someone from Newham. That appears to have been superseded by these two meetings that I told you about, one on October the 5th, one on October the 12th. We will update you, as we always do, after each meeting or any development, yeah? So that's what that's what happened there. So the strike is actually not, uh, I would say, a kind of uh, a fixed strike. It's going to commence and this group of people, workers, are actually going en masse and uh, as you can see, it actually has been the news that uh, in Newham, uh, the people who work for the council, who are uh, refuse uh, collectors, uh, who help to you know maintain healthy environment by cleaning up, the tidying up everything, yeah, are actually being on the loggerheads with the council. They are demanding pay rise. You can read that in the Newham Recorders and some other local newspapers. But they are now taking it a little bit far from this. They're going to march now from here in East London, in this, uh, from back to East London here. They're going to be marching towards the central London. They're going to first go to the council first. And perhaps possibly they'll be able to hold down the uh, councillors or whoever, all the council bosses, to listen to them. We have to see them, they unite the different and other uh, organizations as well who are actually uh, showing the solidarity for this match. So the match is going to start right, right up from here. And you're going to see them who will possibly follow the train. But if not, just know that you support them and they what they're actually demanding for is fear, peer rise for these workers. miles per an hour in order to make you know to make an impact and here they are right here at the headquarters of the council and where they are the train has started all the way from Betty and uh, right here uh, to make their voice heard and they actually demand the pay now <laughs> Remember, the council building is just on the other side of the London City Airport. They have the pamphlet which says that um, they were demanding for fairness 
and uh, fear pay, uh, which the council um, they don't know anything about the and what they face the ever increasing cost of living. So and they actually said why the average pay for a refuse worker, especially those who are uh, refuse worker in uh, the council are actually being in the news, uh, you know, giving warning that they're going to go on strike. And uh, now they say that uh, the average pay for a refuse worker uh, is about 22,000 pounds, whereas uh, the councillors, their councillors, that is, well, the councillors receive they actually mentioned one of them, which is the mayor of Sana Faiz. Uh, according to them, to the Union Voice United, uh, the councillor and the mayor himself earned about eighty-seven thousand naira ninety-seven pounds. Wow! And there uh, some other allowances, like special responsibility allowance, at six thousand um, pounds. Uh, additional five thousand pounds is paid to deputy mayor. Uh, the chairs and deputies. They are being paid 19,000 pounds and basic allowances are 11,000 paid to everybody according to the, uh, the pamphlet they gave to us, which is the Union Voice. So they are coming to the council anyway and they are marching. Just, just as I told you, just as I'm, you can see them across the road where I'm standing under the bridge. This is the road leading to, uh, you know, uh, this is a Blackboard Tunnel. When you drive across this long stretch of uh, uh, draw carriageway, so, and they are coming from the locals, and they've already causing what they intend to do, so that people can listen to them, and uh, you can see them here already marching. They're going to come forward. You yeah, can see them from the far distance, and their office here, the number one thousand, the New York Council. So the uh, the march is already on. And the heat is on, and uh, some of the buses uh, look. Uh, uh, London bus cannot, and some private uh, uh, users of road cannot actually make way. They have to tell, they have to follow the 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 march. They causing the slow in the traffic. So this is just a lame warning, and actually it's a strike that they actually uh, embark on. The refuse workers, you can see the flag, they say this is not a lame strike and they are here to make their voice heard and they actually have been demanding for this for long and this is just the time that they want the council to you know, respond to them. And also, in according to what some of the information they give to us, they actually mention every members of the council here, the councillors uh, and the... Uh, Hey, hey. Listen to their names. Here they are. No! What do we want? Hey, hey. When do we so, want it? No! What do we want? Hey, hey. When do we want it? No! What do we want? Hey, hey. When do we want it? No! What do we want? Hey, hey. Hey, hey. No! What do we want? Hey, hey. Just right here, you must have been hearing about this strike, impeding strikes to be, you know, taking place across different, you know, industrialists and workers in the UK. But here at uh, Beckton in East London, just on the side near in the East London Asda, I just managed to see coming into the group of uh, workers here under the emblem of uh, Unite, uh, making um, uh, starting off the strike. Uh, this, I believe, is going to be uh, a be public awareness towards the strike. Uh, Unite is a union body for workers. So, I want to go close uh, and find out. What's going on here? Let's gain them. Say she could offer, and we're putting something there. She could offer, get back to work. And if you don't get back to work, we'll cut off your overtime. We'll stop this. And if you're an agency, we won't give you a contract, etc. Over the past few weeks, we've seen some of the true colours of, of Newham's refuse management and some of the tactics that they've been doing, Yeah, which is unacceptable, really. It's, it's upsetting that some of our colleagues, who we know support us, I'm not talking about the ones that have got no excuse but to be here, but I'm on about like the agency workers that have been um, sort of literally threatened that if they don't, if they come on strike, they won't 
actually have a job. So we've got full sympathy for those guys, and I believe once they're fully um, got their rights, they'll, they would be joining us. Um, as for our colleagues, we need to say something about them. They've gone back to work, they've been tempted, or whatever their, their justifications will be. There still is an argument to be had with them. I don't mean a headlock argument, but an argument, a debate when we go back. And we don't need to be getting in any bother about it, but we should just be saying, listen, if you lot want a pay rise, if you lot really want to try and get something, you should actually be out there with us. Um, it's likely that there will be a further strike. Although I've got some updates to give you, I'll give these updates back at Building 1000 as well. Management have approached us and said they want to have two meetings, one on the 5th of October, which is two, sort of two days after we're back, and one on the 12th of October. Um, what we've shown during this period is that we're not going away, basically. Saturday we was outside the Council of Surgery at Beckton Globe. On Friday we was down in central London, sort of making a bit of noise down there at these people's bosses' places. So it's not comfortable for them. As much as they might tell you, oh, don't worry, it's not really having any effect, you just, just come back to work. This is uncomfortable for them. Those of you in the WhatsApp group, Mr. Brown, Mr. Brown. Yeah, those of you in the WhatsApp group, I would have seen um, a, a, a letter that's gone out to all councillors, all new councillors, and it shows that we're telling people what they've got. They've got three or four houses, some of these people, telling us on 22 grand, telling you on 22 grand, calm down people, it's a good offer, get back to work. So they need to be exposed, I'm afraid. Not everybody's comfortable with what we're not doing there, but that is what we're doing. So it, we know this is causing them discomfort. Everybody will be happy to go back to work if we get a reasonable offer. So we'll keep you updated on what happens in those meetings. I'll be accompanied by the stewards. And the stewards will be leading back to your own and we'll back to you. And this is the... Uh, there they are, marching into the council, the Newham Council. You can actually get the voice in front the shout is over high. If anyone is in the building over there, they should be able to listen and hear the voice of the vocals as they're actually vehemently demanding the fear pay now. So they're about to give the information, share the information. struggling to get the message. Refuse workers are demanding a better pay and United is standing up for them and with them and we'll continue to do that and this dispute will continue to go on unless you can put forward a good offer that can be accepted by members. Yeah? These guys are the ones that are struggling, they're the ones up out of their pit at silly o'clock in the morning. Yeah? Collecting the rubbish and uh, dodging rats and maggots and whatnot. Yeah? On behalf of the residents of Newham, and all they're demanding is a fair pay from the employer. The employer seems to be struggling with that concept. Because we need to be reasonable and get back to work. It's amazing, you sit down opposite people on over 100 grand and they're telling you to be reasonable. I don't see them struggling in the supermarket, having to look at what's going through the checkout and whether they need to put it back and doing a check every few items. They're not doing that. Just on that note, I can see um, some people, at least one person here from the Newham Renters, um, sorry, Newham, London Renters Union, basically. And I did say that on Sunday I was invited to a meeting there, and it was a really good meeting. And it was about a lot of residents that basically just pay rents, you know. And obviously rents have gone up by 15% in London as a whole, maybe more in Newham. 
and it's really difficult to live. And a lot of you guys and girls who are actual workers, Burnham Council, loaders, etc., you are renting. You're, some, some of you rent in a room, some rent in a place. And the rents are expensive. And that all goes to show why we need a decent pay rise from our employer. And Newham should be leading the way. So that's the message that we're going to be giving out as we go on this march and we set off and meet our colleagues at Building 1000. When we get there, we're going to make a hell of a lot of noise. I don't know if Mr Ansell and the Mayor, the Mayor may still be up in uh, Liverpool at the conference drinking champagne with Keir Starmer. But if she's there, you know, we're going to make some noise and let her know that we're about, yeah? So that's what this is all about. I don't know if anybody else wanted to say anything or make any announcements. Yeah. I'm sorry, yes, of course. Can we? Can I just bring in a speaker here? We've heard on the picket line that there's a school down the road from where we're striking that's been on strike. And uh, we want to. We've always expressed our solidarity with them. We've had Miriam coming from the NEU regularly to our picket lines, and we want to give our solidarity to those guys who are striking against a, a bullying headmaster. I'm sure we've all met one of them in our lives. We want to give a big shout out to Calvin School and I actually want to pass the mic to my colleague here and see if you want to say a few words. Hi, yeah, I'm Liam and from Calverton Primary School. We're here today supporting you. We totally get what the way you're out. We get like, we're in a similar situation. We've also got the biggest salaries to pay the dependency lead. So when we need to look after a sick child, a sick relative, they can't afford to pay the five days, that's the ten days that is in the local authority policy, they've decided to ignore that. We're not accepting it. And just like you guys, there's only one way to be heard sometimes, and that is you have to walk out and make the point. And you do that and you stay strong, they can't ignore you. And we're in a similar position where they tried to ignore us and now they're having to sit around the table and talk. And we know that if we stay strong, they're going to they're gonna come to our agreement. Not an agreement, they'll come to our agreement. And that's the point, isn't it? And, you know, you guys are an inspiration because we're seeing people get together and say, look, when something's wrong, you don't have to just lie down and take it. You don't have to. You can stand up. And when you do it together, it's not frightening. It's frightening the first day, isn't it? And then after that, you're used to it, you're solid together. So stay solid. Don't worry about a few people who've gone in. We've got that too. It's going to happen because, you know what, we've got to build a lot of kind of consciousness and bravery and strength. We're not quite yet, yet there where we're going to have 100% of workers out, but we will soon. The way it's going, we'll have 100% every place we're on strike. So stay strong. If you would like to come join our picket, we're probably get, almost certainly going to be on strike Tuesday, so I can maybe take details, let you know. It's Calverton Primary School, it's not far away. Uh, half seven, but you guys have been men, you get up early, you know about that. It's not It's not hard for you though. Um, yeah, half seven till like half eight. Come join us, come support, that'd be great. Thank you. Thanks very much, Liam. Yeah, we will give you our, our support and solidarity. And hopefully some of us can turn up to, to the picket line there. All right, it's approaching 11 o'clock. I'm gonna basically put whatever we're not carrying in the car, but um, hopefully we can get a few volunteers to carry the banner. So this is a, the demand. His, you need to unite the union, demand the fairness, and decency and respect. So, and uh, this is one of the pamphlets given to us here, and uh, for us to have a look around. So they want the um, on this unfairness to stop. So they they want all these councillors of which they named them in these pamphlets. They want them to listen to them, so that uh, they come to their head. They just want fair pay. So, from here now, they'll be marching towards York site, which is uh, the council um, headquarters, which is in the uh, York site area near Docklands. So, I hope to do the coverage and continue there. Let's see what happens when they get there. Please share this video, like it, and then please subscribe to this channel. So here we are, the match is right starting off from here now, and the match is going to go towards the dock site, <laughs> the, the, the council. So we'll be following the trail of the, the match and see uh, what happens when they get to the... Hello, Newham. <laughs> so this is it. So the of um, Newham Council is on marching to the head office of Newham Council. You want to send them a clear message? <laughs> Unite workers are in their third week of strike action in Newham Council. 
and we're calling on the council to make a reasonable agreement and pay workers what they're due. Newham Council has many three-figure executive officers on a, over £100,000 and they created five new ones of these, this, just this year. And they tell us, as the workers, that they don't have the money to pay a decent pay rise. So I meet you guys over there. Actually, yeah. We join you guys. And just rightly said, they're going to cause a little bit of traffic within the local areas uh, because they're marching from this uh, from Beckton area towards uh, the headquarters of the council, Newham. So they're already causing traffic. Hold up. This is to send the message to the council bosses that the refuse collectors, refuse workers actually need a fair pay rise. You're familiar with this uh, area. This is towards uh, uh, the, the dock side, the Royal Abbott dock here, uh, Beckton Park on the side. The workers, the striking uh, workers actually come into dock side which is uh, the Newham Council where it's uh, located, which is just far. But they're just actually trekking all the way for about uh, about uh, two miles away uh, in the Beckton, where they're going to trek all the way using the local uh, road to this particular uh, site. This is it, where the workers are coming. Um, so they are coming to Royal Harvard Dock here. The workers are coming to the council. This is the Newham Council where uh, we see what happens next when they march and take their march to the head office of the council to see if they will listen to them.
and immigrants who are fighting to come here for a better life. They're the people that we can join up with. If we join up, we can actually win. So I'm going to pass you over to you. different organizations are actually joining this the struggle for the uh, fear pay for the workers so I say the women for justice justice uh, we have a new some other organizations are actually showing the solidarity to the struggle for, for the workers Yet they say they represent us working class people who live in this borough. 
and say there's no money. Steve has already given the figures. They have hundreds of millions of pounds in usable reserves. They have properties and assets all across Britain. They have millions of pounds they can use. They choose not to use it. They choose not to struggle on behalf of local people. New Trades Council support the policy of a needs budget. I, hope, I believe that's also a unite policy. And what that means is that we support councils who will take and use usable reserves, who will take out loans, who will use emergency uh, provisions in order to make sure that local residents do not face endless cuts and workers who are employed by the council are paid properly. Yet, they act as if they're some different political party. The only other councillors, only councillors who have given open support to your struggle is one Green uh, councillor. No open support, as far as I understand, no public support from any of the Labour councillors. What an absolute disgrace. How do you claim to represent working class people and not even show your face on picket lines, not even express public support? And why is that? A lot of these councillors, they don't need to be in the cabinet. A lot of councillors want to become chairs of committees and sit on committees, get extra money. That extra money, very often, is equivalent to a second wage. That's why we're not seeing them on the street supporting workers' action, because they don't want to jeopardise getting out of uh, kilter with their leadership and losing their positions and that extra money. I'm afraid it comes down to that, we have to say it plainly and bluntly here. Because we're involved here supporting refuge workers, who do some of the most important work. They are the essential workers, they are workers we were all told to clap for not so long ago, yet they are also amongst the lowest paid in this borough. What an absolute disgrace. We're demanding, on behalf of the trade council and the trade unions and our trade council, that they give the workers here what they deserve and what they demand. And the same for the cleansing staff, so they don't have to go out and strike, but they're also paid a living and a decent wage. We have continued to support you. We've got a banner today. We'll be, we'll be at your picket line again. We will also be in your protest. We'll give 100% support. We'll ask our trade union delegates to spread the word throughout their branches and their unions. We'll ask other trade councils across London to also give support and actively come along where they can to show support for your actions. And in that way, united and strong and determined, we can all win. And that includes the school strike that's taken place, we heard from Liam earlier, what a brilliant strike taking place there. Again, mainly teaching assistance among the lowest paid in the schools, taking this determined action. Because we're all facing a cost of living crisis, we're all under the hammer. Yet at the same time, we've got this government, which has just given billions of, cut, tax, of uh, tax cuts to the richest in society. By doing so, they've cost, they've caused havoc to the economy, people are going to face their mortgages going through the roof and living standards are going to get even more squeezed. So we need to fight for our decent uh, wages from this council, and I believe we also need to unite the fight to rid of this wrong Tory government and the whole lot of them. Thank you, comrades. Saturday 
any reasonable uh, answer to their demands, the strike will commence. That means you will see a lot of litters and refuse everywhere across New York. It doesn't take days before you begin to see the environmental impact when refuse are not being collected. So this is it. The sick cabin will continue and um, so with that, this um, one strike continues and that we hope that this will be resolved before it goes to a full blow strike in the next few days and the environmental impact when refuse are being neglected are not being collected in every home in uh, the uh, borough uh, of uh, Newham in East London. You know what you can expect. So, I'm signing out from Newham Dockside. I'm Lashley. Please share this video, uh, subscribe, and let's follow up. Unite. And say solidarity for workers.